Hey guys, welcome to the first Coffee Date Thursday of, um, 2000, I almost said 2016, uh, 2017. I do not have any coffee because I am on a coffee restriction right now because I have been off my medicine for a little while, um, which is going to be part of the reason for this, this, uh, Coffee Date Thursday, it's the January tag, um, and the first question is, what were you doing at New Year's Eve midnight? I was sleeping. What ended up happening is New Year's Eve, we went to my sister's house to watch my niece and my nephews so that my sister and my brother-in-law could go to the movies for their anniversary. My sister warned us ahead of time that... Um, her youngest son, Michael, had been throwing up the day before and that there was a stomach bug going around my niece's preschool. And, you know, it, it was a little risky in their house, but we figured we'd chance it anyway. And we were just hanging out for New Year's. We were watching Secret Life of Pets and snacks. And all of a sudden, I started throwing up. And I threw up once, and I figured, well, maybe it's just, you know, something that I ate today. Um, and then I threw up again. And then I threw up again. And then Steven said, I don't feel so good. Let's go home. So we ended up going home. Um, we ended up going home. And heading home, and we had to stop a couple of times on the way home. One, so that Stephen could throw up into a plastic bag. And then we got all cleaned up from that. And then as we got on the highway, um, it was raining, and I turned the windshield wipers on, and our windshield wiper blew off our car. So, needless to say, it was not a very fun New Year's. Um, and number two, the question is, did you get a New Year's kiss? No, I did not, because both Stephen and I were asleep. Lucas thankfully fell asleep on the way home and Stephen and I were both fighting over the one and only bathroom that we have and it was just um, a miserable night. Um, and it's been a rough start to January um, because Monday I woke Stephen up. It was about one o'clock. I woke him up and I said, look, I've had vomiting and diarrhea since Saturday now. Uh, my urine was very dark, um, <laughs> almost to the point that it was almost so dark, it was almost a yellowish orange. So I said, yeah, we need to go to the hospital. And that was a whole <laughs> nightmare in itself. Um, so number three, what are you looking forward to this January? I'm looking forward to the stomach bug being gone. Just, just, just gone. I'm still feeling the effects of it. I'm on like day, if you consider that I got it Saturday. So Sunday, we'll count Sunday as the first day. Um, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm day five, um, on having this stomach bug and I still get kind of queasy sometimes and I'm still a little bit tired and everything. Um, so I'm, I'm working on it. What am I not looking forward to this January? Sadly, all of these school meetings to see if Lucas gets into preschool. We went yesterday and it was so sweet. I walked him down to the classroom and the woman that was doing his his classroom interview said, all right, say bye to mommy. And he just ran right in the classroom and he was just like, you know what? I got this. I'm going to school. And he was in there for 30 minutes and they said he did great. Um, his behavior was typical for his age. He was obsessed with their Play-Doh and the painting and just being at school. So I'm not really looking forward to all of these meetings because it means that he's he's growing up and he's 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 going to be going to preschool this year. He's going to be he's actually going to be 3 in a month and I'm just I'm I'm not looking forward to it. Number 5, what's one new year's resolution you always fail to fulfill? 
diet and exercise, the same as everybody. I always say, oh, this is going to be the year that I, you know, change my eating habits and I change my exercise and it, it doesn't happen, especially when you start the new year off with a stomach bug. You know, you want to do nothing but lay on your couch and binge watch Netflix, you know. Tell us a story from January 2016. I, I can't remember January of last year. It beats me. What happened? I survived? Is that? There you go. There you go. I survived January 2016. And hopefully, I will survive January 2017 with everything that has been going on. Number seven, and the last and final question, what is your th theme song entering 2017? I thought about this, and honestly, I will survive. <laughs> because it's been so just, the, the you know, we're already on day five of 2017, and I don't know how I'm surviving still. Very, like, I'm very, you know, I'm at the the end of my rope pretty much and just <sighs> trying to get things picked back up from the crappy end that was 2016 um, because 2016, the last week, was filled with a lot of panic attacks for me, so... The, you know, like, my Christmas stuff is still up, and my house is still a wreck from Christmas, and then Becca. just, you know, all Becca. the new toys that have come in, and just everything, and it's just a very stressful gecko. It's gecko. just a very just okay. trying time in our lives right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Bye. And happy 2017, and I will see you all on the next Coffee Date Thursday. What do we say? Big Cookie Day. Can you say 